Good morning, everyone. So I've never done a live video before. I'm going to start doing them. My name is Lisa Hill. For anybody who doesn't know, I am an author and I write under three different genres, including um, fantasy and sci-fi, crime and historical fiction. So the reason that I'm going to start doing Facebook Lives is just mostly for accountability for me to get my words written. Uh, anybody who is an author understands that. I'm basically going to go live hopefully five times a week. I'll, I'll, I'll explain why I'm doing this in just a minute. Uh, sometimes six and usually when I do this it's only going to be about five minutes. It'll be a, long, a little bit longer today so I can kind of explain what I'm doing. But normally it'll be about five minutes. I'll tell you what my word count is and what my goals are for today and how I did yesterday. So it's just going to be a little tiny blurb. Um, what I want to do is I'm a writer and I, I do okay writing, but I don't always prioritize my writing the way that I should. And part of that is because I'm running the equivalent of several businesses. But my goal for this year is to write a million words. Um, right now I am at 27,281 for the year. That may sound like a lot to people who don't write or to people who uh, write, struggle to write or aspiring writers, but that's really not a lot for the first three months of the year. It's, it's truly, it, it needs to be higher than that. It's not uncommon for me to do 5,000 words in a sitting because I use dictation. If I were to do 5,000 words a day, seven days a week all year, I'd, I'd hit two million words easily. But I don't do that every day, not, not even remotely. I'm lucky to get to it more than once or twice a week. So my goal is to write 5,000 words five times a week. As you can see, I haven't been doing that the first three months. Um, the main reason for that is that I've had several half-finished projects when I came into this year that were, a lot of them were written, but they weren't finished. So I've been doing a lot of editing and planning and outlining and finishing things up. Um, but now I'm hoping to really streamline that and start writing five times a week. So I'm going to be using these Facebook Lives for accountability. Like I said, I'll tell you how many words I wrote and maybe what some of my struggles were as an author to get that kind of stuff done. Um, I'm going to explain my writing process real fast, but if anybody wants to follow along, you're welcome to. I would love to hear what you're writing. I would love you to put your word count in the comments or anything that you struggled with or if you got your writing done and you can follow along if you want and use this as your accountability to get your words written. Like I said, this is mostly for me, so if nobody follows along, that's fine. If nobody wants to um, actually put their word count in, I know that that can be a little bit daunting, but this is what I'm gonna do and I would love to hear how everybody else is doing. I'm gonna put these videos on um, obviously Facebook, also Instagram TV and YouTube. And the reason for that is that normally I'm going to be doing this at 5 a.m. my time. It's gonna be like a 5 a.m. writer's club sort of thing. If you know what that hashtag is. It's a very popular hashtag for writers. I'm not actually doing it at 5 a.m. today. It's actually a little after 7 here. <laughs> um, just didn't get to it early enough today. But the point is that 5 a.m. my time is not 5 a.m. everybody's time. Everyone's in different time zones. And of course, some people are not up at 5 a.m. anyway. But this way you can watch the replay anytime you want and you can comment on any of the platforms and I will do my best to answer all of your comments. Um, so let me explain my writing process real fast just so that you understand what I'm doing and I would love to hear what your process is because everybody's process is different and I find it fascinating how other people get their words written and get this accomplished. So with me, like I said, I dictate. I use Dragon software. I've used it for a while. I can pretty easily, assuming that I've outlined my chapter, which I do, I'm a, I'm a pretty serious outliner, um, I can usually out, or excuse me, dictate 5,000 words in about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. So I do that every morning. The thing about dictation, well, in some ways it makes it easier, in other ways it does make it harder. You have to uh, get used to editing your dictation. So it's kind of, there's an extra step in that you have to edit the dict dictation before you can actually edit the writing. So usually what I do is it takes me, I would like to say it takes me an hour to edit the dictation. It really depends on how focused I am. If I'm really laser focused, I can usually get the dictation edited, which just means, um, you know, the software is going to pick up your voice wrong. No matter how carefully you speak and enunciate, you're still going to end up with wrong words. And of course, misspellings, especially if you have character names that aren't common. So that, that is actually the hardest part for me is to go through and edit the dictation. It takes the longest. I'm sure that I do end up editing as I go the writing because I can't help it. It's just in my nature. If I see something that's clearly passive voice, I'll edit it out. 
But then after that, I go through and I specifically edit for um, passive voice, what I call crutch words, and do kind of a more general edit of the writing. Um, it's a lot of work. I generally spend, you know, an hour dictating and two to three hours editing. But the good thing about that is that I end up with 5,000 words that are actually closer to third draft than first draft. So that's kind of what I do for my process. And like I said, because it takes so long, I don't get to it every day right now. Sometimes I don't get the editing done, so I'll do the editing that I didn't finish the next day and then I won't write until the day after that. But I'm going to try and get into the habit of doing the 5,000 words and getting it completely edited every day. Um, that said, it's difficult because like I said, I have a lot on my plate. I'm running a podcast and I'm putting together some writing courses and I also watch my niece and nephew every evening and they keep me on my toes. So. I've got a lot going on, but I've decided that I'm going to be super productive in 2020 and that's what I'm moving toward. So every day or hopefully five days a week, I don't generally write on weekends. I use that for other author stuff, but if I do have a day that I write on a weekend, then I'll probably do a Facebook Live. Pretty much any day that I write, I'll do a Facebook Live. Um, but yeah, feel free to follow along. I'd love to hear what your writing process is and how many words you've written and what your goals are for 2020. That said, I will see you tomorrow. So everybody get out there. Get those words written. Have fun.